Alright, now we'll do the uh, the knot at the handle thong transition. For this I've used a piece of lace, it's about uh, 4 feet long. It's cut at 5 millimetres, again beveled on both sides, split, stretched, the whole works and jerks. Now this knot is similar to the pineapple knot, only this is a 4 bite knot so we're only going around 4 times and then once we've done the, the initial knot we'll just follow this strand around. So again 45 degrees, now this time just lay that lace there just on the very edge, you can see that there, just on the very edge of your leather, bring it around. This here would be at about 60 degrees, I would reckon. Cross that over there. This is the same as before. Cross it over. Bring it around there, the width of the strand. Cross it over. And again, just leave it on the very edge. You can see that there. Now, let me go under one. And for this I've used a smaller needle, a smaller life eye needle. Over this one. Under the next one. Over the next one. And again, put lay that down on the very edge there. So we've got over the next one, over the next one again, and then under. All right, come around here. We've gone, we've gone under. There we go, over. And now we've got these two parallel pairs running here. So we'll go over this one, over this one and under this one. Again the same principle applies where the strand next to it goes over you go under, where it goes under you go over. So we've got under that one, over the next one, along the edge and under. Uh, under, uh, over, and under. Now that's the finish of the knot. We've got over, and now we come back to the sanding part again, which is there. Bring in a bit closer on this. Try and keep this in frame. All right. And now all we do is follow this original part around, the standing part around. Where it goes under, you go under. Where it goes over, you go over. All the way. So that's on your left hand side. You see that? Over, under, over, under. over, just follow that strand, keep it on your left hand side. And that, now that's, now you see the reason as to why we put our leather on the very edge, because this strand goes on the outside of that, and that will cover that edge. There we go, we've gone under, over, under, just following that standing part around. Here we go, over two, under one. Still just following that standing part around. Over one, under one. Over two, under one.
over one and the two. Over two and the one. Over one and the two. Again, you might have to start using your fitty shortly because these things start to get very tight. Over two, under one, over two, under two. Over two, under two. Again, over two, under two. It's getting tight, so I'll just use a feed to make a path through, through there for the needle. This is the end of it. Over two, under two. Now we're back around to the standing part again. Here it is here. You can see here. Now we just go underneath this one, these two here. You can take it under about four strands and then that will lock that off nicely. Mind you, this is tight. Two strands will do. Give it a nice tight tug and tighten up. Cut that off flush. Cut this one off flush. Once again, do the roll. edge of your bench. A little piece of marble, you can use a piece of wood for this if you want. Just roll it. You can put the edge on there like that and roll it like that. And that rolls your edge, you see. And there we have the finished whip. And all we have to do is Make a cracker for it, um, tie that cracker on, and then uh, go out and give it a crack.